Now let's start learning chords on the fifth string, where the fifth string, the A string, is your root. So again, we remember that all of our natural notes have a whole step in between them, with the exception of B and C and E and F. Those are all half step or right next to each other. So let's go A, B, then B and C are right next to each other. So this note is C, C to D, whole step, D. Now if we take any of these notes and we go down, so say we're gonna take B and we go down a fret, that's B flat. If we were to take C and we go up a fret, that's C sharp. We take D and we go down a fret, that's D flat. This is D again, if we go up a fret, that's D sharp. Now, coming back to C, if you were to go down a fret, that note's just B. There is no C flat. And if you were to go from B, the same is true. You go up a step, there's no B sharp, there's just C. So if somebody asks you to play something in B sharp, they're just they're pulling your leg, they're having fun at your expense. So let's, uh, uh, let's take a look at the first form. Let's go to B. B is our root here on the fifth string. Then you're gonna take your third finger and bar it here on the fourth, the third, and the second string here uh, uh, on the fourth fret. And you're just gonna strum the center four strings. Now sometimes you'll see this chord form written. This is a major chord form. Sometimes you'll see this chord form written where the first finger is barred and, uh, uh, and you're getting the second fret here on the first string. Um, that's, kind of, that's kind of difficult to do when you're doing with, with your th uh, the third finger bar here, and that's not necessarily a technique for beginners. So if you want to get the first string consistently, then I s recommend barring all the way across with your first finger, and then using your second, your third, and your fourth fingers here on the fourth, the third, and the second strings respectively here at the fourth fret. Do that form so you can get that E string consistently. First phrase though starts again with the 15th fret on the first string, and then a pull off from the 17th to the 15th fret on the second string. When it's time for leaving, I hope you understand. You're gonna play two beats of F major this time and two beats of C in that second measure. My father was a gambler down in Georgia.